What's up guys? All right, so today we're gonna to be going and doing a quality inspection. Uh, we just installed this system. Um, and I'm gonna come back behind and make sure everything looks good with it, make sure there's no issues anywhere, make sure it's cool and good. Hadn't had no complaint with it, but we like to go back and just double check everything. Going up into the attic here, we just installed this system. Gonna do a quality inspection on it. And we're gonna check the, the Delta T. this inspection so far um, started out with the Delta T I pulled the old filter out but I put a new one in um, and the Delta T isn't fantastic it's not really where you want it to be so it's around 14 it might get up to about 14 and a half the highest I've seen so you always you want to try to get it as close to 20 as you can it is only 10 in the morning about 78 degrees so I mean it should it should be working better than that um, it is 76 in the house so that can play a little bit of a role but it still should be um, doing a little better than that so let's go uh, I'll put that new filter in and then we'll go check that refrigerant levels Let's get our gauges hooked up. Alright, so we got the got everything hooked up. I don't know if you can see this or not. So the delta T is around 14, like we said. And this is why you want to go off of subcooling when it's a TXV or superheat when it's not. It's very important because if you wasn't looking at your subcooling and your um, and everything, because this these rims should be around 12 on the subcooling, so this thing's pretty dead on. So if you wasn't going off that and you were just going off suction pressures, the suction looks a little high, which it could be a couple different variables because of that's happening. But the head pressure looks okay, and the, one of the things I always pay a lot of attention to is the line temperatures. Um, so if we wasn't going off the subcool, and you've seen that line temperature at 63, you're going to automatically assume it didn't get enough refrigerant. So you're going to want to put a little more in it. And especially because the Delta T is 14. You can normally get a good bit more out of that than 14. So um, right now, I mean, the, the pressure show that it's, it's pretty dialed in. It just, uh, there's sort of worrisome it's only getting 14 right now because it's really not that hot right now um, so let's keep checking and we'll uh, look a little deeper into this so after looking at all the pressures and the temperatures like we was doing um, when you see that suction pressure a little higher than it normally should be um, nothing real concerning but you know um, 60 I think it's 62 is our wet bulb um, <clears throat> probably should be closer around 59 58 um, maybe even 60 but with that suction pressure being up just a hair more than it should line temperature not getting where it should um, it makes me believe that there's the blower the blower speed might be affecting it that could be a strong blower speed could be on a too high of a setting for the the CFMs and the duct work so we're gonna go up there and take a look at uh, more than likely it's on the highest setting for the for cooling so we're gonna bump it down and uh, see how much that affects our pressures and line temperature and our delta. All right, so we got the top door off. Let's go ahead and get the bottom undone. And let's see if we can take a look at this thing. All right, so like we was um, figuring, that's usually how it comes factory anyways. Black is your high setting and that is what's on cool. I don't know if you can see it completely or not. There it is. So that's on cool. I'm going to look on the schematics and see which wire is the next step down, which would be medium high, and we'll get that switched out and see All how right, that helps. Alright, so blue is our next step down, which is medium high. 
So we're gonna get this wire and replace it right here where the black is and then move the black over to where the blue is, okay? All right, so we got those switched out. Let's get the doors back on it. And we're gonna be able to, uh, <clears throat> to look at our difference now. Remember, our, our Delta T was around 14 at its best. Um, suction pressure was about 140, 141. And line temperature was about 63, so a little high on all, on all of that. So let it run for about 10 minutes or so. And then we'll check this again. All right, guys, so what a difference this has made. <clears throat> Delta T is now not almost 19. Suction line looks perfect now, 133. I'm pretty far away from it, so. Line temperature, 53. Superheat, 8. Subcoolant's 13. Everything looks so much better on this thing. It's bumping at 19 now. All right, so that, that really shows, you know, how important air speed is. You don't always have to have your blowers on, on high during the, during the summer when it's cooling. Majority of the time, you do, but, like, I went in and checked his airflow before, and, I mean, it was slamming out the vents. It's a two-ton system. Um, don't really have much, uh, many, many runs. So I, it, it was really slamming. And <clears throat> like we was talking about, the air temperature just wasn't there. It wasn't like it should be. Um, turning it to medium high, it's not that big of a difference. I went, just went in and checked, uh, checked his vents. They're still blowing very well, but he's, he's getting about eight more degrees um, cooling out of it. So last time I checked it, it was almost at 20. So that's, that's a really good, and that's how it should be. Um, sometimes the way the ductwork is just set up, it, you know, it needs to run on a little bit of a lower speed to get what you need out of it. So with the brand new system, 78 outside, that should be killing it. It should be around 20. So when, it, when you see one that's 14 on the Delta T and your suction looks high like that, then check the blower speed. It, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Um, you can always, you need to sit and watch it for a good while. Make sure you're not going to start dropping temps too low where it's going to be close to freezing because then when it cools off and runs, it will freeze. So you want to watch it for a while, make sure it looks good. But <clears throat> changing that blower speed from high to medium high made a monster difference in this system. So hopefully you learned something from that. Um, it's a really good piece of knowledge to carry with you about the, about the speeds. Um, you know, most everybody's just slam it on high in the AC and you're good, which most of the time they're, that's right. But there are certain instances like this one, um, nothing's wrong with the system. It's brand new. The blower's just a little too, too fast. So dial it down and now it's cooling like a champ. So hope you learned something from this one and we'll uh, see you next time.